Good evening, warrior women. How are you ladies? How are you doing? It is your girl, Khadijah from KhadijahCoaches.com. And this evening, I am coming to you guys to talk about the 52-week challenge, right? The 52-week savings challenge. I'm coming to you guys to do this video and I'm looking down at the at the uh, schedule trying to make sure I have it up right so when I show it to you all it's not all backwards and crazy looking. <laughs> so anyway, I'm here to talk to you guys today about the 52 week savings challenge and I'm really encouraging you all, it's not too late to start. It is, I think the third, are we in the third week of January? Yes, we're in the third week of January. Today is uh, Friday, January 16th, 2015. And so we're only three weeks into January. And I don't want another day, another week, another day, another hour, another minute, another second to go by without talking about doing this challenge. I want you guys really to hear me clearly when I say this, that that it's about instituting habits, right? It's not about being perfect. You know, I've done the video on the money jar system and I'm still, still holding to that. And I want to tell you guys a really quick story about what happened to me on my way back from Alabama, I had a situation, ladies, and I wound up having to stay overnight in a hotel in the beautiful mountains of North Carolina near Asheville. And what happened in the process of this whole situation was, first of all, People, the people were very nice to me. The from the tow truck guy to the hotel clerk to the people on the phone when I had to call for roadside assistance, like everyone was just so nice to me. Um, I needed some assistance from my children. My son, who never picks up the phone, picked up the phone on the second ring. You guys. And was like, Mom, what do you need? And was right there for me. And I am so indebted and so thankful that um, everything just lined up in the way that it did. And I want to say part of that was, a little part of that, you know, you know, I always do this little part, was my attitude. Because I was calm and... Uh, it was a testament to the work I believe that I have been doing to clear my own money story, right? So I'm not coming to you all talking about clearing your money story and healing your money story. And I'm not doing the work myself. I am definitely in the trenches doing the work. I can't help anyone else if I don't do the work myself. So anyway, I just wanted to share that quick little story about what's been going on and what happened uh, on my way back home and just how everything lined up and how I was able to like get home safely. And the reason I'm sharing that is because before I left to go on this trip, I did my jars, right? I put my money in all the jars. So guess what? Guess what, guys? When I got home, I had money. And I was able to still do my grocery shopping. I was still able to go have my fun with my fun jar. You saw in the group that I shared that I went and I... No, that was not my fun jar. That's my education jar where I shared with you all the pictures of... Um, or the picture of me going to Barnes & Nobles and getting all those wonderful ooh, magazines on money and, and Bloomberg Report and all that good stuff. So because I had that system in place, 
when I got home, I was still able to do the things that I needed to do because what happened was not planned, right? It wasn't planned. It wasn't part of the budget or anything. But because I had did this system, this money jar system before I got, before I left, I was able to still be able to go and do things and, and still carry out the plans that I needed to carry out. So I just want to kind of insert that little thing about how important it is to institute systems because systems save you time. There's actually an acronym that says uh, for systems, save yourself, save yourself time, energy, and money. I think that's the acronym for it. Systems, S-Y-S-T-E-M. Save yourself time, energy, and money. So anyway, back to the 52-week challenge. I just wanted to come and show you guys like what's been going on with my, my uh, challenge thus far and, and how I've been doing it. So here we go. Here we go with a jar, right? So I put on here the 52-week challenge money challenge right because you guys know I love challenges and how my money normally flows the bulk of my money flows in a monthly fashion so what I did was I took the chart that that's here hopefully you can see it and I laminated I printed it out and I laminated it so that I have it right here with me so I can kind of like see what I'm doing and it's not just some regular piece of paper, you know, just hanging around the house. I could hang it up if I want to um, and hang it so I can always see it and know kind of know where I'm at. And then I also, excuse me, use my planner and when I get my income... Let's see, do I have it written here? I think I might have it written on another calendar. Yeah, I think it's on another calendar. I think it's on my desk calendar. It's not in my planner, actually. But I write down, because my, my month, hmm, because my income is monthly, I take out uh, four weeks at a time. So in January, what I did was... Uh, it says week one is a dollar, week two is two dollars, week three is three dollars, week four, four dollars. I think I did five weeks. Week five is five. I did five weeks. So what I did was I took out fifteen dollars in singles and I put it here, right? No excuses. No excuses uh, for you to say, well, I get my money monthly or I get my money every two weeks and I, you know, how am I going to do it? No, 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 no. You just you just count up the number of weeks that um, you know if it's a two week you get paid two every two weeks then you can take two weeks at a time out. So, for instance, if I was on a two week schedule, I could have taken three dollars out the first week a dollar, the second week two dollars, three dollars out and putting in the jar. Then if I got paid again, take out the next two weeks, which would have been. $3 plus $4, which is $7, right? I mean, we we waste money like that. We waste we waste money. We waste money on frivolous things. So there's no excuse for us not to be able to do this challenge. Um so like I said, I I'm I I like to make things fun and efficient and you know, colorful sometimes, depending on what it is. And so this is what I did. I printed this out, made it, laminated it so I could put it up. And then again, here we go with the jar. It's nothing fancy. This was, what was this? This was a, a big jar of um, bath salts that I had gotten from Whole Foods. And when I was done with it, I just repurposed it. And so this is where this is where now my my money will be sitting for my 52 two week money challenge. Um, so it's a really simple it's it's simple things that we can do to get this ball rolling, to start to really change our money blueprint and, and start to um transform 
our money blueprint. We're not healing so much yet. Healing is the stuff that takes place on the inside. And I'm definitely going to do some more videos on what you can do to start to heal uh, that imprint on the inside. And we're going to talk a little bit, a lot of bit, actually, about that. But right now, I want to show you some things that you can kind of manifest on the outside, some fun ways and some, some efficient ways that you can um, get started on this. I hope you guys get something out of this video. I hope that it's helpful. I hope that it's been simple. And y'all know I love to talk. Um, anyway, it's your girl, Khadijah from KhadijahCoaches.com. And the reason I'm doing this is I'm looking at the time to see how long I've been running my mouth. Anyway, it's your girl, Khadijah Coaches at KhadijahCoaches.com. I love you all. Take care. Have a blessed night.